You most probably have had one of those BlackBerry phones with a slick, QWERTY keypad. Let's admit that owning a BlackBerry phone before gives us some cool vibes. In the not-so-distant past, in the age of the iPhones and Androids, BlackBerry was the king of cellular phones. But why can't we see any BlackBerry phones anymore? Have they come to extinction? Here's what happened to BlackBerry and how it's doing now. Stay tuned until the end of the video to know if the company will face another downfall or if it'll rise in the auto industry. BlackBerry was at its peak back in 2012, where it had more than 80 million active users. It has become an icon for emailing and gives off an I'm busy working kind of vibe. This is because of BlackBerry's humble beginnings as an interactive pager, which allowed its customers to respond to pages with a keyboard. Years later, they've developed and introduced BlackBerry phones and eventually gained a lot of support from its users for the phone's true email, apps, and web browsing, and BBM, or BlackBerry Messenger. But the fame of BlackBerry didn't last long when it was surpassed by its rival phone companies with more advanced phones. Apple's touchscreen revolution with its iPhones made BlackBerry phones look lacking. When iPhones and Androids believe that touchscreens will change the phone industry, BlackBerry is still confident that most people will still choose to stick with QWERTY keypads. This was the beginning of BlackBerry's downfall. BlackBerry tried to counter this by developing slide-out keyboards, but unfortunately, they didn't take off. They also tried to replace the physical keyboards with touchscreens, but removing the physical keyboard is also removing its notable feature. Eventually, BlackBerry gave up on competing with the new magnates of the phone industry and decided to stop producing phones altogether. From then on, the brand became kind of stale and people began viewing Blackberries as just relics. Although the brand became the foundation and has helped the birth of the modern smartphones, it's no longer seemed to have a role in the market. Does this mean BlackBerry has completely disappeared? To answer that question, no. They were just busy rebuilding their strategies not as the same cellular company, but as an automotive software. They might have faced a great loss and lost their appeal in the phone consumer market, but they found their success in the field of enterprise security software and automotive software. Everyone may remember BlackBerry as a phone company, but the company is now associated with security and automotive software. This is according to the BlackBerry CEO, John Chen, who restored the success of the company by dropping their own branded phones and focusing more on software. The company now relies on most of its sales from selling software and licensing to partner companies like Silence, a company involved in cybersecurity. Hmm, maybe BlackBerry was never really destined to be a phone. BlackBerry might actually be destined to be in the security and automotive software. Now, BlackBerry is making its comeback with its licensing and other service segments. BlackBerry's QNX technology has been a success for the company where it became a leading supplier of safe, secure, and trusted operating systems. In fact, BlackBerry has been awarded as the 2020's TU Automotive Award, a prestigious and most anticipated award in the connected car industry. QNX technology is now embedded in more than 175 million cars. This software appears in famous car brands such as Audi, BMW, Porsche, Maserati, and Mercedes-Benz. They also have secured partnerships with Amazon, Baidu, and Delphi Automotive in using BlackBerry's QXN operating system to develop automotive cars. As we enter a future with the growing production of autonomous vehicles, we will need to depend on high-quality security. It is critical to make sure that the codes for such cars are as secure as possible. Vehicles are rapidly becoming very complex as they become autonomous with things like personal assistance and Internet of Things features that can detect issues in car system operation. BlackBerry is addressing that issue with a new connected vehicle software platform. The company has announced a new service called Jarvis. Yes, Jarvis, like the Iron Man assistant Jarvis. The software will act as a virtual suit that protects the software from vulnerabilities. Automakers are facing issues in inspecting millions of codes every time there's a change in the software. Jarvis scans automotive binary code to identify security vulnerabilities in the software used in modern smart cars. 
Scans like these can take days or months to finish, but BlackBerry claims that it can scan and deliver insights in minutes. After knowing what happened to the former king of cellular phones and the innovations it developed over the years, the question is, will BlackBerry take over the automotive software? The answer is still not certain, since other rival companies have also entered the automotive market as autonomous vehicles present a new opportunity for contextual services. There are companies like Apple that have CarPlay and Google that has Android Auto that will compete with BlackBerry's QXN. It's still a bit early to conclude who will take over the automotive software, but BlackBerry is using its strength in system and security to its advantage to win the automotive sector. In 2020, BlackBerry raised its stock market value by 6% and surpassed the Wall Street's expectations. However, traders are suggesting that this raise is pandemic-related and might not give the company a stable market value. Nevertheless, this has given BlackBerry an advantage to rise in the headlines and raise their market value. NASDAQ also views BlackBerry's software with potential as the company starts to gain prominence in the auto industry. BlackBerry is also gaining recognition in enterprise mobility management for its productivity and security innovations. The company is positioned to benefit from the surge in business, providing the most secure mobile enterprise solutions in the market. If the company will continue to maintain its leadership within the auto industry as a premier software platform provider for connected and autonomous vehicles, it might really take over the automotive software in the near foreseeable future. We just have to hope that the company already learned from its downfall and will definitely not make the same mistake they did in the past with the BlackBerry phones. BlackBerry has had quite the history, right? Who would have thought that the once king of cellular phones is not producing their notable phones anymore? And none of us has probably thought that BlackBerry is now gaining a reputation in the auto industry. What a glow up for BlackBerry. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. Until next time.